This video is going to help you with creating the paperclip model in Activity 5.5a CAD model features. This uh, video is going to be one to kind of really help you out in terms of the activity document really doesn't give you a whole lot of help in going through and creating this particular model because they don't provide you any dimensions. They just wish to show you how to use the sweep function and sweep is one where you'll go through and you can sketch a profile and then it the particular profile in this case the circle on this work plane is going to follow along this path and extrude out to the thickness that you have and just follow the path to create the paper clip. It does require a few different uh, advanced modeling kind of features and things and plus I'm going to give you some dimensions to hopefully help you with modeling this part. So let's take a look here. We'll go into Inventor. We'll start with a new sketch on the XY plane and utilizing the origin I'm going to draw a line that is and as you go through and start to draw I'm just going to type in 1.375 hit enter and that will go through and start setting in my first part of my sketch what this will also go through and get, be created from is I'm going to use the circle tool and when I draw the circle I'm going to come out just a certain distance away and then as I draw out I'm going to snap the very end point of my circle so that way it matches just like here on my screen until I get a green dot that snaps to the end point of my line. I'm going to right click and say OK to get that in there and then what's going to end up happening as well is I'm going to draw a line straight from the outside edge so that way it will be tangent and that line is going to go through and be 2.125 long. So I'm going to right click and say OK for now. Um, I've done that so that way I can go through and utilize the trim tool to make this happen. So the trim tool, I have to have two lines in place so that way it doesn't trim away the entire circle. I want to get rid of the bottom half and then for the dimension I'm going to place in a value of 0.377 and that will go through and size that down while keeping the length of my line here. I'm going to move, uh, I'll move this dimension out of the way here a moment and then we can go through and start looking at finishing out the rest of the profile. So same kind of scenario, I've got a circle. Um, I'm not going to, I want to make sure I'm not in line with the same, see how my dot dashed lines here show that I'm in right in line with the midpoint of the circle at the top. I'm going to come away from that a little bit, start and then draw my circle out, making sure that it snaps to the end of the line that I just finished drawing, uh, the 2.125 line there. Same scenario, I'm going to draw another line from the tangent point upward and it will have a value of 1.75 and then I'm going to go through, I'll trim away the bottom of the circle there or in this case the top and the part that we do not want I'll dimension this to be 0.313 and then I can go through and look at finishing out our last circle and putting in our last final line. So on this one here I can go through, I can kind of go through and stay, it doesn't really matter if I am in line with either one of the center points but if you notice if I stay in line with the other center point that I had there it will run into this other line so I will probably want to come a little bit closer to the line, line there, snap to the end of it and then go through and take my line as well. I'll draw that down to be 1.25 Okay, I'm going to pull these dimensions out just a little bit so that way it's easier to see. I'll trim away the bottom of this circle and then go through and dimension the radius to be 0.25. So that will go through and create my profile or my sweeping um, path that will go through and create for the profile. So I'll go through, I'll say finish sketch, and that goes through and gives me this one here. What the, in, in particular, what the um, sweep tool wants is it wants to go through and have another, you have to have two sketches essentially. So we're going to sketch a circle within one of the intersecting points along this path. So here's what I'm going to take a look at. I'm going to start down here at this corner, or this point that we started at drawing from. In order to do that I'm going to take a look at the origin folder. So what profile can I find that would start at that point? Well it looks like the XZ plane is going to be what I'm going to use. So under work plane, I'm going to create a new work plane that is parallel to plane and it goes through the point. So I'm going to choose the XZ plane and then I'll go through and take a look at clicking on the very end point of where I started. 
This sets a new work plane in there, which is just like what the picture shows in your activity document. And I'm going to click on Start 2D Sketch and choose the work plane. Now, you know, as we take a look to show you what this looks like, this is what ends up happening: is we get a sketch plane that goes through and runs uh, parallel to the work plane we had, and it's kind of perpendicular to the profile that's being drawn there. So when I look at it from the top, it may be kind of hard to see, but the point that I picked, it automatically sets in the origin point. So I'm going to choose a circle, and right on the green dot for the origin point, I'm just going to start a circle there. Point one for our dimension, hit enter, and then I can go through and say finish sketch. So now I get a circle that will intersect the endpoint of the line to start, and it will follow along this path. To do that, I'll choose the sweep option sweep it automatically picks up the profile highlights in green the other next thing they want up for is to find the path into which it goes through and follows so as I go through if I highlight see how all the profile path highlights red if I click on it it'll go through and show me a preview and then I can hit OK and then there I will go through and have my completed paper clip I'm gonna take the visibility off of the work plane to go through and to showcase what we have so this concludes the video on how to use the sweep function and to create the paperclip model for this activity.